morning. It is Vlogmas episode 20, if you can believe it. I mentioned it yesterday, but my mom is here. She's not actually staying for very long. She has, um, she's going back home on, I don't remember what day, but she has like a couple appointments. So she's going home and then she's gonna come um, back and stay with us through the holiday season. Very exciting. She hasn't been over in like a couple weeks and uh, Chloe missed her a lot, even though we do FaceTime every day. So it's good. Uh, today, uh, I actually have a care cut. I almost forgot. I got a reminder last night. Um, I just like to get a little bit of a trim because my hair is very prone to split ends. And if I wait too long before trimming it, my hair just gets like really like dry and brittle on the end. So again, um, I don't live in the GTA anymore. I actually live north of Toronto now. I've lived here for, well, since we bought our house. I'd often still go to Toronto and uh, throughout my pregnancy I was actually um, seeing a specialist uh, at a hospital in Toronto. Anyway, where I am, we're in the red zone, no lockdown yet, um, so yeah, can still get a haircut. Okay, I am dressed and I am going to head to my haircut now. I have to fill up first. I don't drive my car that often, but I fill up at least once a month. I have like maybe a quarter of a tank left. <laughs> For some reason, my Tangerine MasterCard wasn't working. I don't know why. I just actually I haven't used this physical card in a long time. Usually, I use Apple Pay. I think I might have mentioned that. So, I hope this isn't um, demagnetized or anything. I mean, I've probably had this for like three or four years. So I'm I'm home. Obviously, I had lunch. I had fish and chips with sweet potato fries because we have an air fryer, so we use it for everything. <laughs> And I'm going to do some, well, my hair is kind of crazy. I'm going to do a little bit of organizing. So since um, my mom is staying with us for longer periods, she usually stays with us for like a couple weeks at a time. I want her to have a space in our other bathroom over there for her like skincare stuff. So I have to rearrange the medicine cabinet and maybe also do a little bit of decluttering and also just rearrange kind of the whole vanity so she has space for her stuff and I'm thinking maybe I'll move my makeup out of there I haven't decided where I'm gonna put it I really do miss having my own little beauty room but sacrifices you know I know this is a weird angle but uh, at my hair cutting place they give out like little holiday gifts so I got some shampoo and conditioner. Um, they're in Aveda salon, so they just use like shampoos and conditioners from Aveda. So that's, this is the Botanical Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. Also hand cream, Aveda Comforting Tea. I think they handed out a tea last year too, and it was actually pretty good. There is this uh, Muskoka Roasted Coffee, little Keurig cup. And then there's this uh, little bath salt. Okay, this is what I am going to try to sort out. Um, obviously, I keep a lot of stuff on here because I don't have the beauty room anymore. I have been like doing my makeup just in the bathroom. So I have to tidy this up. I need to remove everything first because in order to move the shelves, I have to actually take the doors off. So I'm gonna remove everything and maybe limit what I put back in. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I basically wanna have as much space over here for my mom to put her skincare stuff on, uh, but I have to move like these shelves up because I need to foot fit my toothbrush and things like that. I'll probably move my brushes. Maybe I'll just move my makeup into the bedroom. I haven't fully decided yet. We have emptied, well I've emptied it. This, so this is what all the products look like. It's kind of a deep pile, um, but I'll sort through it in a bit. We 
Did you have a good nap? Do you want to in there? <laughs> Do you want to in there? Wait. I still have some organization to do, but I managed to clear this space for my mum and I just have all my stuff over here. Some have spilled onto the counter still, I still have to put that away. This is a box of things I for sure am not going to be putting back in there. Um, so I'm going to sort through this in a minute, I just have to set up my phone first. Okay, I know what you're thinking, my desk is a mess and it is, but I promise I'm going to clean it up before I go to bed tonight. I first have to switch the SIM card on my phone because I have switched carriers. So I'm currently on Fido, which I think I mentioned in a video, probably my iPhone 12 Pro Max video. Um, if you're not from Canada, then you won't know that it's just basically a budget carrier that we have here. Anyway, I am switching to Bell. I really love Fido. I've probably been with Fido for over eight years. I also really like my plan. My plan is uh, $55 Canadian right now and it's like eight gigs of data, unlimited um, evenings, not evenings, I guess, unlimited calling nationwide, unlimited like messaging. However, the bow is with Bell and it's actually, he has a work phone and he emailed me that they have these new corporate plans where you can get 20 gigs of data for only $50 a month and also unlimited uh, calling nationwide. So of course I had to switch because it's a better deal. I get more value for my money and I'm actually paying less. So yeah, switching to Bell. Also, excitingly, um, Bell comes with 5G. Although in my area, I don't get 5G, but if I was in an area where I could get 5G, then I could actually utilize that. So hopefully this works. I was supposed to wait 20 minutes. Um, so normally you would just go to the store and pick up a new SIM card, but COVID, so they actually mail one to you. It's a bit of a waste because it's just, you know, down the street. But yeah, I got my SIM card today and then I just emailed um, the uh, account consultant account consultant that didn't make sense the account representative um, for the Bose work or his corporate account plan and yeah he said that I just had to wait a little bit and then everything would be all good to go I was able to port my phone number so none of that changes the only thing that changes is instead of having Fido up here I have Bell now it is the next day now I still haven't wrapped this pile of gifts but I'm gonna do it tonight, I think. <laughs> okay, I have cleared off most of the counter space in the bathroom, so I'm gonna show you um, not quite the finished look of the medicine cabinet, but it definitely looks a lot better than before. So first of all, the counter, I still need to work on a little bit. I have a bunch of these little samples that I think I want to use, um, just mainly cleansers, a couple moisturizers. They probably won't um, last very long. This is Chloe's little hygiene area here and I just have um, exfoliators back there, some body stuff, makeup remover, um, hand wash. And in here is my skincare stuff. So I haven't really organized it. I just put everything back on the shelf. Um, up there are some more things. That corner is kind of my little acne corner. I have a bunch of like spot treatments and salicylic acid. And then over here are just like clear space that I have put for my mom. I have some extra things up there and some masks, but yeah, this is basically going to be all her area. I guess eventually, depending on how long we're in this house, it would be a Chloe's area because ultimately we'll be finishing our basement and then we'll have a room and a bathroom down there. So that will be more of our guest area, I guess. So that's probably where my mom would be reallocated to when she stays with us. I do still have quite a bit of tidying up to do, but I'm pretty pleased with how um, it turned out. Did I update you guys on my phone situation? So everything was a success. I am now um, on the Bell network, which is kind of what I would consider a premium network because it's one of the, the big networks in Canada. And 
yeah, so far it's okay. My only gripe is that they gave me a 5G SIM card because obviously this is a 5G phone. Um, so they gave me a SIM card so I could access the 5G network. And for whatever reason, I can't access the 3G network anymore. And I used to be able to with the Fido. Actually, I'd basically mainly just be able to use 3G on Fido. Um, LTE was still a little bit spotty where we are, but with Bell, I can only access LTE or higher. So it's a bit annoying because like I said, LTE is just like not super great where I am. Um, 3G is the one I get most bars in. So this is what my phone says. And as you can see, I only have two bars on LTE. Anyway, that's my only gripe about it. I mean, it hasn't negatively impacted me yet because I'm not really making a lot of phone calls these days and I'm usually home, so I just use Wi-Fi. But that is, yeah, my only complaint. It's not really a complaint, it's just something I noticed. <laughs> okay, I am going to wrap presents while I watch Lethal Weapon on Netflix. And oh, I ended up finding a bunch of uh, tags and things like that that we have in the basement. So yeah, I'll just try to use all of these up. I might even try to salvage one from this, <laughs> this mess here. Okay, that's all I've got for today's vlogmas video. It's a very slow day. I um, haven't really gotten much. Anyway, that's all I got for today's vlogmas video. It's been a very slow day. Haven't really done very much. Anyway, that's all I got for today's vlogmas video. It's been very slow, not really doing very many things other than just tidying up around the house. It's definitely a different vibe this holiday season, but I kind of like it. So before I say goodbye, let's open our advent calendar. Okay, we're looking for day 20. Oh. Tis better to give than receive. That's true, I've always thought that. Kind of fitting for today's theme. We can officially end today's Vlogmas video. Today is the 19th, tomorrow is the 20th, and Chloe will actually be 10 months old tomorrow, which seems unbelievable it just it seems way too soon for her to be already 10 months old she's been able to pull herself up to stand and she's been crawling for a while now she can also cruise so she if she's holding on to furniture anything like that anything that kind of gives it a little bit of leverage she can just use it to get from point a to point b yesterday was the first time we saw her um, actually pushing a little walker on her own it was very slow it was only about like three feet but it's, uh, yeah, I guess she's like on the way to walking, which I'm excited about. Hopefully she walks before I go back to work, um, but who knows. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. It's a little bit slow day, I know. And tomorrow will probably be my third part of my Q&A or my what's in my phone. I haven't decided yet, but I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.